players from other teams. Dozens of fans. Filing into the first lane of the track here at the Preston Center for our first, first overtime game of the day. It will be six on six. And you gotta love the overtime rolls, Bomas. It's your best six versus their best six. Let's see yeah. what happens. There goes. Oh! Oh, wow! Amazing! Captain did come back, followed up with a catch. Clarification of the rule. So Cassidy caught the ball after he was already out. So he is out. Michigan State goes up 6-5 in the man advantage here. Let's go, guys. 6-4. Four. 6-4. Four. They got another one out, too? Yeah, first they tagged the team captain. Oh, the back wow. Down. One of Michigan State's players makes a catch with their shoes. Oh, and here we are. So a 6-4 man advantage for Michigan State. Six, seven, eight. That's a catchable ball. Nice try and a catch there for number 16. Number 19, Demharder down for Kent State. Leaves three players left for Kent, five left for Michigan State. Kent State in desperate need of some catches right now. Baird, Paltani, and Sherich are all that's left for the Golden Flashes. And a nice Go kill. Down. Clutch kill there by number 19, Baird. Baird winds up the throw. Here's why. Oh! 19 goes out there on a nice group throw from Michigan Baird State. Hit. Back pedals, runs out, so he's gone out the way. It did, it did, it did clear the neutral zone line, but it was not within a step and a dive of a Michigan State player, so a shot clock violation. That said, take a look at Michigan State's lineup, not exactly power throwers. This could end up being beneficial for Penn State. Good job, now. 17 stays in there. No kills on that volley from Michigan State. Oh. 25 goes out, leaving just 17 left for Penn State. Oh, it looks like Paltani's sticking around. Well, I thought he was out. That would make two of us. Oh! Oh! That one hurt. Just get him on. You hit him. A little bit of dispute right now. If number 25 was now, I had thought I had thought that Paul Tom had been flipped. We thought he was out because he covered his face. Zajak is looking at him something fierce. Yeah, 27 is pissed because he was the one who said he caught him. That brings back into Pero. Great player to have in your corner. Oh, seven. On the hip. Things have changed here dramatically. Oh. 
sounds like Captain O'Brien saying he pushed the ball down. Jack gets revenge on Paltani. We got a one one-on-one. One on one, boys! Your two captains. The electricity in the air, it is palpable right now. Almost goes out there on a footfall. Timeout, Michigan State. My God, what an exciting game. Wow. You can't ask for much more than two captains duking it out. Let's go, Frank! You should take him to the middle and just do gladiators. Both looking exhausted. Yeah, absolutely exhausted right now. Cassidy trying to pump up his captain for this final showdown. You got this, Bert. You got this, man. It's all you. It's a deal, Bert. With the other games wrapped up this round, literally everyone here for the tournament gathered around the court right now to watch this epic showdown. Captain Felix Peroni telling them he can they can take any ball that's on their side back to the baseline. Players are trading shots right now. And a huge catch by O'Brien gives Michigan State the victory. You can't ask for much more than that, though, from Nationals. Two leaders, two captains duking it out in overtime. The stakes could not be higher. What a great ending to a fantastic game. Thank you all for tuning in. Final score, Michigan State 3, Kent State 2.